What's up everybody? Jonathan back here and uh, today we're looking at a new map and this one's called Crossroads. I'll have a link for it in the description in the, well, in the, in the mods list to uh, have a link for it there. But basically, let me pull up the map here. So it's just a pretty flat map, uh, no hills whatsoever, I don't think. I haven't found any yet anyway. Uh, and, but what I'm planning on doing with this one is I want to buy as many fields as we can and plant them all with trees because if you look, um, let's see, if you look on the far left hand side of the map just below where it says Ma's Farm and there's some yellow and green dots there that's that little strip right there is timber and then uh, so if you look on the right hand side of the map on the far side just below A and A's crop sales and below field number seven there's two more little strips of timber right there and that's it I mean the rest of them is fields uh, and the sawmills at the very bottom of the map uh, the biogas plants in the bottom right hand side of the map and uh, that's that's about it so what we're planning on doing is now uh, you start off with fields 12 15 and 16 and field 12 uh, actually has uh, wheat on it and then uh, field 15 and 16 are, are empty they're just uh, I don't even think they're plowed. They're just nothing's planted there. And then I bought uh, field number one at the very top. I gave myself uh, five, I think it was five million dollars to start just to buy some equipment. But we'll take a look right quick and see what they give you. So obviously, you know, this pickup truck, you got that. You got uh, some kind of old plow disc or something there. You've got a hay uh, auto baler thing, which does not work with square bales, as I found out earlier. Uh, you've got a hay baler. Uh, it's a planter, seed planter, old trailer, uh, front end loader attacher. Uh, you got a sprayer, and not really sure what that thing is. Uh, and then you got a some tract, a couple of tractors with some weights. Uh, they start you off with a trailer, and then of course you got uh, some chickens over there, and uh, just some other things. But let's go take a look. In fact, I want to look at something. I I was playing last night, and um, I think my what well, well my game crashed on me, but I was okay. So that that did get saved. Okay, good. Uh, some of my forestry stuff I was doing last night did not get saved, which I was kind of mad about that. But you know what can you do? The game crashed. I don't know. Okay, so here's field number sixteen, and as you can see, I've already got some trees, uh, some saplings planted. And it's kind of a good thing the game did crash because uh, when I started uh, back again, I hired some helpers to help plant this uh, field with saplings. And they started here where the tractor's at, but then they went to the right, <laughs> which meant they started putting overlapping trees. And so I got to get that figured out. And as, as you notice, look in the back of the tractor, the, the sapling pallet is empty even though it says it's full and look at all these pallets over here that are empty that are supposed to be full of saplings I'm not sure what's up with that uh, if anybody knows if you've seen that before let me know Ooh. If, you, uh, if you've seen that before leave me a comment let me know what's going on so I can try to fix that and it's well yeah you look right here you can see how close they planted them but uh, well that one's actually got a couple in there okay well, I'm not sure what's up with that then but anyway, I want to plant these uh, fields right here uh, with uh, saplings. And here's here's another tractor. So I bought three tractors for planting. And then let's go take a look real quick. Let's see where am I at? Let's back over this way. I won't spend much time uh, doing a tour of the map. Uh, there's some other YouTube videos out there for the crossroads map if you want to check it out uh, maybe if I think about it I can leave one in the description usually the one I watch is uh, by a YouTube guy named Nick the Hick uh, he does mod reviews and map reviews so that's where I saw it to begin with and I thought this might this map might be pretty good for our doing our um, our plantation style forestry because it's already got some uh, plantation style forestry happening over here yeah, yeah, my game completely crashed last night. I had a bunch of these trees cut down. I had some of them even skidded up and processed, and then it crashed. Oh, well. 
Which, as you, as you can see here, this uh, some areas over here. It's already got some uh, plantation-style forestry going on, and this was done by the map creator. This wasn't uh, anything that I did. Uh, okay, so let me just uh, park my truck over here. I'll probably forget where that's at. And I'm not sure what to do about these saplings right here that are um, on the back of this truck. Maybe, let's see, it's already on that. Because it last night when I was playing, the sapling uh, pallets there look empty. And even though they look empty, I uh, put them in the, the planter and was going along. And it was said it was planting them, but I don't believe it was. So I'm going to see if I can't dump these off over here somewhere. Because they're doing absolutely no good. Uh, let's see, how do you change it to unload? There we go. Okay, and really, as I discovered, if you want to hire workers to plant your trees, you don't even have to um, have a truckload of pallets you can just go into the options and tell it for the workers to buy seeds and then it, uh, as they run out they'll continue buying some more but if you want to do it by hand you have to have uh, a truck with some pallets of uh, saplings on there and that's what this was for so as it turns out I don't really even need this anymore, but look, look, I mean, look at this. The, the thing is empty. And so I'm going to turn it on, lower it. We'll set the cruise control. And look, so it says 19. There's 18, but there's nothing being planted. Look, look, there's nothing there. So I guess what I'll do is just let it run on out and then, uh, I'll go buy another pallet and maybe it'll work correctly after that. So I'm going to go ahead and let this thing uh, run out and do its thing and I'll speed this part of the video up and then when we come back it'll be uh, it'll be empty hopefully and then we can go buy another uh, pallet of seedlings and then do it correctly and hopefully, hopefully it'll work. Okay, so I decided just to go ahead and hire a worker for that, and whenever it's uh, empty, it'll probably st uh, stop. So we'll just go back over here and get this one started. But what I discovered, uh, like I said, playing last night, uh, let's see if it's going to do it. Okay, it's not on. Okay, let me raise that up. I'm going to come actually down here to this end and get him started going the other way. So I don't want him to be overlapping with these over here because that's what I found happened last night. So I'll just swing him around and these things sure plant awfully close. See, we'll give this a try starting right there. Okay, so that's the one that we first got started, which uh, is planning nothing. <laughs> So weird.
All right, well, while that's going, let's get back over here. Okay, yeah, well, I was doing some grass, too. I probably won't uh, show much of that in these video series since we do forestry, but as you can see back there, I uh, mowed that field right there and uh, uh, got some of it picked up and was taking it down to the biogas plant, and that's about when the game crashed, and so I lost all of that. In fact, I had all of that picked up right there. And I, I, was, I was about to move this down to another, another field to mow, I had set up the uh, follow me uh, mod and that's when it crashed. I'm not sure if it was something to do with this mod or if it was this mod in combination with follow me or what was going on, but anyway, it crashed. So, probably won't do that again. Alright, let's see. I don't even think it saved my. Oh, there they are. Okay, so there's my uh, Tiger Cat grapple loader and processor, and those did not. That didn't save, so let me find, there it is. Get my truck, and we'll go down there and pick up those and get them back to where we had started last night. This is a pretty neat map. I mean, there's not a whole lot to it. Uh, the field's a pretty good size. I believe this is just a 2x map. It's not a 4x or anything bigger. But uh, it'll be fun. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to do some different things. Uh, for instance, like uh, you know, Ridgecrest, we're trying to fill up the bunker with wood chips, and that'll be fun. And then uh, on Pacific Inlet, we're map, uh, trying to log the whole thing. So I'm trying to do some more different things to provide some different content. I did discover that with these machines, with the trailer fully extended, you can load both of them and it works okay. Oops. Well, not like that it doesn't. good enough I don't want to risk getting off <laughs> my luck could fall off and have to reset it or something or more trouble than it's worth okay now you know unfortunately the collision isn't perfect so you'll see it kind of they'll mesh <laughs> Hey, when I first started recording earlier, I was trying to do anything I could think of last night to uh, get the game uh, going again. It was it, it gotten locked up, and uh, so I was pushing all kind of buttons on this uh, controller, and I think I accidentally pushed, uh, oh, I'm not sure what button this is, a select button maybe or something. Oh, I went the wrong way last time. Um, the um, And then when I started recording just a minute ago, uh, I couldn't get the uh, controller to act right. It kept trying to, when I used the uh, left stick, it kept trying to select different uh, vehicles. And I was like, uh, what's going on here? And I finally figured out that uh, that button was enabled. So I got that figured out. But I did go through the uh, game log and try to find what might have been causing the, the lockup issue. And it look, appeared to be something to do with course play. So. I may have to delete those courses and uh, do some of that grass mowing if it's not in a field uh, do that manually because it seemed to not like that for some reason but uh, I'll just have to try to save every so often and then try it again and if it doesn't uh, happen again then it uh, could have just been a fluke or could have been something to do with that mod I don't know Okay, so here's where we're going to get set up. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop these off right here. 
and I really hope that my joy the key is acting right today because uh, I have to unplug a few things a couple controllers to play um, uh, American Truck Simulator and so when I did I plugged all my controllers back in to play Farming Simulator 17 and I uh, didn't want to act right so I kind of got to messing around with my joy to key again and see the problem is I don't have a I need to get a uh, uh, powered USB hub I've got a USB hub here but it's not powered and this runs off the USB power, so I'm not sure. Uh, that's probably what, what it, my controllers weren't working correctly with the USB hub. Some of them worked fine, some of them didn't. So I'm thinking it had something to do with uh, that USB hub, but I'll see if I can't get me a powered one and maybe that'll help. Because I'd like to be able to leave all this stuff plugged up. Got too many controllers and not enough USB ports. <laughs> Get that trailer extended back in. And we'll just set him over here for now because we need to get busy. Okay, so the, the plan is uh, I want to harvest all this timber over here and get it sold at the uh, at the sawmill there, there is no pallets of lumber or anything like that on this one like there is on rockwood um, and see we've got a log truck already sitting over there we've only got uh, 100 and well about 1.5 million a little less but what I want to do is cut down all these trees get a bunch of revenue in then we start buying other fields and we we'll plant those fields in uh, timber and then we'll try to sell those. Uh, or we'll cut them and sell them once we get, you know, enough to be able to. Uh, or once we once we get enough of them grown well enough, then we'll cut them down and sell them. Okay, so let's see if this thing's going to act right. It looks like it's doing okay. Oh, well, I gotta set that again. Okay, now we should. Looks like it's working. Let's see, is our saw on? There we go. Yeah, we're close enough to the processor. I'll just go ahead and drop it off right here. And it looks like it's still not acting correctly for some reason. I'll have to try to figure out what's causing that and it's only when I'm going to the left I believe hmm I don't know I found that if I go right down the middle on this uh, well right, right down the, the second row of trees I can get all three rows It'll cut. Yeah, I've got to figure out what is causing this thing to not act correctly. throw it back there. <laughs> Oops. Now of course I can't see what I'm doing. So 
So my plan is is to go right down the middle and throw these trees uh, either to the left or to the right, and then we'll come back and skid them up, and then we'll go back down the other side and get the other uh, bunch of trees. But uh, let's check on our uh, tractors here for a minute. I want to make sure that they're not doing something wrong. Okay, so that one looks okay. It's going to the right. Uh, let's see, let's look at this one. No, nope, see, this one's going the other way. So I need to dismiss him. He needs to be going the other way. So let's see if we can't get him going the right direction. Same thing here. They're going the wrong way. Uh, let's see. I wonder. I still got the pallets in there. Is there any way to offload the pallets? Huh. Uh, well, I may just have to fool with this one later. I'll, I'll go into the settings and uh, turn off the uh, auto, auto buy seeds. I'll dismiss those two workers, and then uh, I'll have to let this run out again because it's still thinking it's got trees in there when it doesn't. Okay, we'll, we'll get that worked out later. Is he moving? Yes, he's moving very slowly. So that one's going, and that one is also going. Okay. Well, we'll check on them here in just a little bit and make sure that they're not overlapping because, as you can see, what happened was they uh, came back down through the middle of these and planted a couple of them too close. But I don't like the spacing on these trees anyway. I think they're way too close. But. Not much I can do about that. I, don't, I think that's just a game setting. But what we'll do is, uh, well, I'll tell you what we can do is we'll do a true plantation style, and that's uh, whenever these trees get big enough to harvest, we'll come down and take out every other row. That'll free up the other trees to have some more room. So that's what we'll do. We'll just go in there and thin them out. Okay. Well, you know, I really hate that uh, my Joy to Key is acting weird for this, this feller buncher. Uh, I need to figure out why that is happening. I just don't know. Anyway, uh, let's see. Let's, let's play with our skitter a little bit. We got a few trees cut down. So let's see if we can't uh, get them skittered up here to the processor. Didn't have far to go. <laughs> These trees are kind of tall and really limmy and got a bunch of pine needles on them. See, I don't have a chainsaw. get a few of these trees out of the way anyway because they're kind of blocking our uh all right why isn't that going there we go
Yeah, this is the uh, John Deere 748H Skidder, and I decided to go with just the single tires uh, on, uh, let's see, which one was it? I think it was, uh, well, Rattlesnake Valley for sure I was using the duals, and I think it was also on, uh, maybe it was uh, Rockwood, I think I was using duals. And I don't know, it just uh, was too much, I think. So I decided to go with just the singles this time and see how that worked out. All right, come on. Well, why is this thing not moving there? Okay, now let's see if we can't get the processor fired up and going, make sure everything works there. Looks like everything's working okay. the cut length okay some big old trees. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. I'm gonna have to move up just a little bit. I guess whenever I initially made the first cut, it kept it for some reason. Hmm. Everything looks good there. I just need to get whatever's going on with this feller buncher figured out on the majority key settings. Oh, what a task. Uh, anyway, we'll get that figured out for next time. Uh, let's see. What else we need to look at? Let's uh, run down to the sawmill and check it out right quick and we can kind of see what's going on there. In fact, I'll save some time. I'll just cut through the fields. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of like the way that they did the edge of the map. You know, it's not just whatever, you know, open mountains or wh whatever they usually are. They've actually got some sort of a uh, texture up there that looks like trees. That looks pretty neat. And let's see. Okay, so basically it's just your standard sawmill. Now it looks like it creates the pallets because it's got all that stuff in there. But all you do is uh, come over here and uh, you drop the logs off in that yellow box and then the wood chips is back over here on this other side you can dump them in there 
So we'll just do our standard, you know, deliver logs, offload them to there. I'll probably have a crane loader sitting there. We can just pull up and then uh, offload them with that. Or I might use a tractor to tip them over or something, front end loader, who knows. But basically what I'm trying to do with this map is I want to, like I said, I want to harvest all the timber so we can get a bunch of income and then start buying some of these fields. And once we do that, we'll plant them with uh, saplings. And then once those grow enough to harvest, what we'll probably end up doing is the first thinning, we'll chip the trees you know, into wood chips. And then when they get a little bigger for actual harvest, we'll use those for... Uh, well, you know, we use those for regular uh, lumber logs and whatever. Uh, there's the store. I still need to buy one more tractor and put the uh, stump grinder and the uh, wood chipper thing on there. And then here's our farm. Chickens. But anyway, that's what we're planning on doing with this map. And I'm just going to go ahead and wrap the video up here because uh, I really need to get that Joy to Key stuff figured out for the Feller Buncher so I can operate that all smoother. And then I'll continue to keep an eye on our uh, tree planters over here to make sure they're not going in the wrong direction, which that one looks like it's still doing okay. Let's go check on the other one right quick. like this one just started a new row so I'll make sure it's going in the right direction and it appears so okay good so we'll let those continue on and then uh, and these are some pretty big size fields uh, it's like uh, maybe fields 22 29 uh, those are probably our biggest ones so those may take a bit to buy, but we'll, we'll buy up all the little smaller ones along the edge first. And then as we continue to get revenue, we'll buy some of the bigger ones out in the middle. And I may end up doing, uh, I don't know, I may do some other kind of crop just to supplement some income, especially grass. That's easy, you know, you just plant it and let it go and you just cut it and uh, ship it off to the... Uh, biogas plant and when it becomes silage we can sell that and get a, probably a pretty good amount of money but uh, this field right here is one they started off and it was uh, you, you already owned it and it had wheat on there and I just used the uh, combine that they provided in the game and um, cut down the wheat and offloaded it into a trailer pulled by a truck and then I had a couple of uh, well I had uh, one tractor with the the hay baler on the back of it and I bailed up all the straw and sold it so that that provided a little bit of income and I said they got us a little water tanker too so I don't know I, I may probably what I'll end up doing though is since we already own this big old field I'll probably just plow it up and seed it with grass and then let that grow and just harvest it for uh, you know for grass until we can afford to uh, plant it with saplings because my money I think is going to run out pretty quick with uh, these tree planters yeah so there's the uh, uh, the combine and that this field right here has already got wheat planted I'm just waiting for it to become ready for harvest and I'll go ahead and start cutting it and then eventually we'll uh, do the same thing I'll just uh, probably cut it down and then plant grass and then uh, harvest the grass for silage that should give us a good bit of income but anyway uh, that's what we're planning on doing with this map and that's uh, the crossroads map uh, it's pretty pretty nice little map it's uh, well done uh, nothing much to it but that's what I wanted I wanted some big open fields uh, that actually had a sawmill I found some other maps but it didn't have a sawmill of course that's the problem if you're trying to sell logs or wood chips and so uh, yeah let me see here. I'll probably take this tractor and let's see. I believe this over here is a cultivator or plow or something. So 
probably hook up to that and we'll come over here to uh, let's see what field was that? oh it's field 12 yeah and we'll get that started So I'll get all this done and then uh, plant this with grass. That'll be a big, pretty, pretty big size field with grass. It should give us quite a bit to take down to the biogas plant. And then I'll see if I can't get my course play routes all set up correctly to where uh, we can mow it, pick it up, and deliver it all in the same you know course play route. Well, two course play routes. But uh, I was having some trouble over there with getting uh, my courses combined correctly for it to actually take the grass to the biogas plant. But I'll watch some YouTube videos or something and get that figured out again. I don't do it all the time, so it's I gotta refresh my memory on what's going on. But anyway, well that's what we'll do for next time. And so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, call it a video for here. And uh, so this is Jonathan on Crossroads. And we'll be doing some plantation style forestry on this map. And we'll see what we can do. So uh, if you want to check it out, uh, so hit that subscribe button if you hadn't already. And until next time, we'll see you.